Chicago Cubs signed veteran starter Julio Tehran to a minor league contract. So Tehran, he's bounced around a lot going from spring training now here to the regular season. He started spring training with the Baltimore Orioles, and obviously he couldn't crack that rotation, one of the deepest rosters in the league. Then he made a start for the New York Mets last week where he was on a major league deal. And after that one outing, the Mets cut him loose after he got bombed in that one week, April 8th, at the Atlanta Braves, one of his former teams, two and two-thirds. He went in that game, six hits, four runs, two walks, three Ks. So Tehran now joins the Chicago Cubs. And I don't know if he's going to get any rotation spot anytime soon over there in Chicago. We know they got a lot of young guys in the minor leagues. We know Jamison Talion, he should be back in the major sooner than later as well. And is a depth move and someone who can help down the line. If they need someone as a spot starter and a doubleheader, or if there's injuries, then Tehran we could see on the major league roster. But like I said, he wasn't that impressive in Baltimore's camp in spring training and then last week the Mets saw what they had to see with him with one outing and he got bombed even though granted it was the Atlanta Braves so Tehran even if he's up in the majors no fantasy value and at this point he's a journeyman veteran even though last season he did show some signs earlier when he was starting in the year until he fell apart in the second half of the year and he finished 3-5 and five, 71 and two-thirds with 4.40 ERA and a 1.13 whip so right now Tehran signs with the Cubs and his depth move, it's good in that. But in terms of fantasy baseball, it's not really going to be someone that would be an option, even if he gets a spot in this rotation down the line. So Julio Tehran in his third organization since February in spring training. And we'll see if he sticks in the Cub organization for the remainder of the 2024 season.